Hi, I'm Jennifer Waldy, and we're here at the Nelson SPCA, and I'm joined by Denise, and we have these two gorgeous kittens who are going to help us uh, talk about a big fundraiser that the SPCA has coming up. That's right. It's our eighth annual Spay Getty No Balls Gala event at the Prestige Lakeside Resort. Now this um, is happening on November 12th. Tickets are $50 and we have an amazing selection of silent auction items and prizes this year. So the menu has been tried and tested by our volunteers and I think this is going to be bigger than ever. Where does the money go? I mean with something like spaghetti and no balls I'm pretty sure it goes to uh, helping out the animals, correct? Exactly, helping out the animals and their owners because as we know spaying and neutering can be expensive. So a lot of the proceeds of this um, go to helping people spay and neuter their animals. If you bring in a copy of your income tax and if you make below a certain amount then we can help su subsidize that for you so you can make that happen. So you can come down to the SPCA and help these cuties and get them all spayed and neutered. And now we'll head over to Blaine Evans in Cranbrook. Thanks, yes, we are here in Cranbrook once again at the East Kootenai branch and I'm joined by manager Brenna Baker. Who have you brought by this week? Uh, this week we have Susie, a German Shepherd. Oh. Hey Susie, she's a big girl, isn't she? Yeah, she's a very big dog, so. And so what's her story? How did she come to be uh, here? She actually came to us as a stray from the Fort Steele area and uh, no one claimed her, so she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, we figure she's around four years old, but we don't know for sure. Um, also, she was spayed already, so that's why we thought for sure she's owned by somebody and, and she's in really good shape. Um, but no one came forward to claim her, so now we've put her up for adoption. So. And, and how is she getting along with the other pets here? Um, she actually needs to go to a home where there's no other dogs or cats. Okay. She does, um, she is dominant, so uh, there may be the odd dog that she gets along with, but so far we haven't found that dog, so um, she loves people. She probably should go to a home with uh, older children because she likes to jump. Mm -hmm. She yeah. just needs a little bit of training, but she is a beautiful dog. Um, but again, just a home with no dogs or cats and a home with adults or older children. Perfect. Well, if you'd like more information on Susie here or any of the pets that we feature on Adopt a Pet, as always, you can head over to the SPCA's website, which is spca.bc.ca slash adopt. And Brenna, thanks so much for bringing Susie by this week. Thank you.